for today's video, I mean, really what I want to do is talk about what if we pursued business? What if we reframed business along that definition of love? Hi everyone, it's Tina with Picture It Profit and Financials, where I help business owners get their mind and their money in order so that they can do work that they love and really enjoy their businesses. Not long ago, I posted a video about wanting to rebrand FIRE. So for those of you who are new to the idea of FIRE, it stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. The idea is to get your money in such a good position that you can essentially retire at a younger age. It's the same idea that Chris Hogan put out many years ago now that retirement is a number, not an age. It's a financial disposition and it is not 65 years to 70 years old. But I've thought about this a lot and I actually think it would be much better for people because we are social creatures and we are very productive in nature and we do seem to be happiest when we're working toward the completion of a goal that we should rebrand FIRE as financial independence and recreational employment. I want people to do work they love. I want them to have fun. I want them to enjoy the skills that they're employing for themselves or for others. And I want them to have a sense of adventure in their business. Most importantly though, I want them to be able to walk away from a career that they are miserable in. If you are disliking the work you do, if you are resentful about the work you do, if you live in a state of bitterness about who you work for, or how you work, this is really a big problem. And we need to, as a society, help one another get out of those situations, release those handcuffs that are tying us to paychecks, doing work that ultimately makes us unhappy. But on top of that, I wanna go further. I want us to love the work we do. And I've been contemplating love a lot lately. I've been praying on it. I've been asking God to show me how he wants me to love others. I've been asking him to show me how he loves others and just to help me understand really the depths of love, right? And I am a very stubborn and thick-headed person who is stuck in my ways. And so I'm learning these lessons, but I'm learning them slower than I care to admit. That being said, because I'm so attached to helping people build businesses that they love, I really got to thinking about, okay, well, what would that look like? What would it look like to infuse your business with love? And my gut reaction to answering that question was that you would serve clients with love by collaborating with partners and teams that you love while performing actions that you love. And that seems kind of like, oh yeah, obviously, but what does that mean? And I want to break that down even further. So as part of my study of God's definitions of love, I of course turned to the Bible and I came across one Corinthians, um, specifically chapter 13 verses four through seven, which it's in like every movie that has a wedding. I, I think this is the verse that's always quoted at weddings and it goes, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So for today's video, I mean, really what I want to do is talk about what if we pursued business? What if we reframed business along that definition of love? And I went ahead and wrote this out for myself and it was so good, I had to share it with all of you. And here is what I came up with. If I take 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses four through eight and I reframe them for my business, how would that sound? It sounds like this. I'm patient with my clients, my team, my partners, and myself as I work on and in my business. I'm not envious of other businesses in my space. I don't boast of my business's success because I see every win as a gift of collaboration and people coming together. I don't dishonor my clients, my team, or my partners. When I act, 
I'm not self-seeking, but desire to find a way to give the greatest value for everyone. I don't get angry at negative outcomes, and I don't keep a record of wrongs, but rather I use them to learn and grow. I don't rejoice in the loss or hardship of my competitors, but rejoice in our growing industry. I strive to protect my business by being trustworthy with clients and partners, seeing opportunities everywhere and never giving up. What do you guys think about that? I mean, I love it. I am writing it down on my whiteboard and I'm looking at it. I think that if we tried to infuse love in our businesses, we would see a blossoming because let's be honest, when even just look at children as they grow up, the more that you love on them, the more they grow in their personality and in their confidence and in their abilities. And sometimes I like to think of my business as a baby. As a matter of fact, I have a funny story about when I was just starting my business, I kept having a dream that I was pregnant and I had to go buy all of this baby stuff and figure out where to put it in our house. And I remember being really terrified because I'm squarely middle-aged now. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, what if this is like, what if this is a prophetic dream and I'm going to get pregnant? And the thought kind of terrified me. And then one day it was like the, the revelation of what the dream meant, because I had it several times, was that my business is a baby and I need to find a way to make room for that in my life, not let it take over my life, but make room for it in my home, in my space, in my routines and in my family, like you would when you welcome a new child into the world. And To take that comparison or that metaphor even further, is it not true then that when you welcome a child into the world with love, that you have all of those experiences I mentioned earlier, watching them grow in personality and in confidence and in capability. And I want that for my business and I want that for all of your businesses. So think of your business like a baby. Think of it like something that you are raising up and do that in such a wholesome and loving way that there's no opportunity for anything but your business's success. I hope you guys are wonderful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.